everybody. We're out here at COSI. I'm with Taylor Los Little, and we are talking Dorian Days. This is just a super fun uh, kind of activity. Talk to me about this. It is. So this is one of our big partnerships with the city of Columbus, uh, and we take Dorian Green right in front of our building uh, here at COSI, uh, and we turn it into a really cool place for families and kids to come. We have food trucks. We have big inflatables. And COSI, of course, includes our very own interactive experiences that we have for families, and one of those um, is this turtle habitat. So we bring out a, a, a little pool. We mm -hmm. don't fill it with water though, we fill it with, with some mulch here. This reptile is a, mulch. A special mulch for reptiles okay. to, to sort of hang out in. Um, and we ask the kids to build their very own uh, little uh, habitat. And then we let our turtles, I have some, some of our eastern box turtles here. Uh, these are guys that live here on site at COSI. And they're getting a little feisty back here. They are, you can hear them, they're kind of crawling <laughs> around. Uh, they're anxious to get into their, yeah. their habitat here. Um, but Monica, if you want to go ahead, I have some different things here, okay. some leaf litter and things you can lay out. Like I said, this is a mulch that, that really sort of replicates the forest floor, which is where these eastern box turtles want to live. And they are native to Ohio and other uh, parts of the eastern United States. So you might be able to find turtles like this in your neighborhood. Oh, that's really cool. In a park close to your house. What am I doing with these rocks? Just putting them wherever? <laughs> just, yeah, just lay them out, build a nice little, a nice little habitat little, here. Little we'll turtle them rock them. area. I, I feel like I don't want to build up too much because our turtles want out. Um, <laughs> you have two turtles, but you said we're not putting them in together, and why is that? So so I, I, and I can explain some of the differences here because they look a little bit different, uh -huh. but we have a, a female, and yes. I can pull her out. Yeah, let's see her. So this is, this is Chum. Chum. Yes. So she's an eastern box turtle. If you want to hold Chum, you can. I would love to hold Chum. And then I have Lewis here as well. Lewis is a boy. Lewis is a boy. And you can Chum see is a girl. he's more brightly colored. Yeah, he is like his little neck and everything's very light. So he's a very pretty turtle and he yeah. knows he's pretty. He is. Chum, you're pretty too, sweetheart. Don't you let you. She, she is. Don't you feel bad. So Chum here is about 18, Lewis is 22. Oh, wow. Um, and turtles can live to be actually over 100 years That's old. That's so incredible. Yeah. So are we going to put, we can give each should we put Chum in here? We can give each one a turtle if you want to set Chum down. Oh, I have Chum. an idea. Chum go. likes to, to snuggle, so she might find a little hole to, oh, like to get kind in. Of cozy up in. We'll see. Or she might do some exploring. She wants to check it out. Oh, yep. look at her. You can see our eastern box turtles, they have a little water dish here, mm -hmm. uh, but these are terrestrial turtles. So okay. they, they don't live in the water, uh, but they like to have a source of water maybe where they can get a little drink. A little beverage. Sort of take a little dip once in a while. So they'll, they'll live in your shallow water. Dip a toe in. Right. Chum looks like she wants to explore a, the entire room. It does. It does look like that. <laughs> She's like, I'm someplace new and I want to <laughs> check it out. Oh, the camera. <laughs> she says, no pictures, please. And so do we want to put Lewis in too? Lewis to turn here Should too. We, do we need to take Chum yeah, out? Let's take Chum out. We don't want any turtle babies. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll let uh, Lewis here <laughs> explore a little bit. Hi, Lewis. Where are we going? Right for the water. Huh? Lewis is thinking he might take a little dip, get a little drink. Uh, Lewis is looking right at Chum. <laughs> I think we may have a love connection at Cosi. We didn't even know. <laughs> Well, how fun is this? And the kids have got to love it to be able to interact Definitely. with the with the turtles this way. And we have different themes every Tuesday. This is just one of those themes. There's lots of other cool things that we'll have going on Tuesdays out in Dorian Green. I love it. Swing by Cosi, check it out, and who knows? Maybe you'll even see uh, Chum and and Lewis, their long lost love connection. <laughs> That was Monica Day reporting the final Dorian Days event is taking place this coming Tuesday from 11 to 2 p.m. at Dorian Green in front of Kosai. And uh, I used to have two turtles, actually. Really? So, yeah, I had two turtles growing up. Uh, one was Rocket. Uh, my sister named the other one Coco. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, but uh, they're fun animals, but they're a little messy. Yeah. A little messy to have cages yeah. and things like that, so a lot to clean up after, <laughs> but they're yeah. fun animals. I mean, I, we would just have turtles around. I think I just time. grew up, I think it was probably like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I was a kid okay. and I loved them, so I wanted real turtles, so yeah. that was kind Did of Did it live up but to the expectation? They are, they're, they're pretty cool, but they didn't last 100 years. They're, yeah. they're long gone now, so yeah. unfortunately not. Probably not any ninja skills <laughs> no, either. So. No, not at all.